Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Check it out. Where are we? <laughs> you got one guess. <laughs> US 66, yay. Here we go. Gonna cut through Oatman. I gotta go over to Bullhead City. I got some stuff I have to do over there today. I gotta get an oil change in the van. All kinds of stuff. I usually do it over near Bullhead City and Laughlin. But instead of taking uh, Route 68 out of Kingman and all that, thought, hey, let's cut up here. Go through Oatman and maybe, I kind of doubt it, We'll find some spring bloom flowers. It's been so dry here in Arizona. No, nowhere is blooming very well at all. Even down around Phoenix. This is my normal go-to place to find spring bloom. This stretch here, uh, before you get to open. Wow, look at that pile of gravel. You know, I just read online that uh, Arizona Department of Transportation, they're going to redo a good chunk of this uh, road that goes over a sick Reeves Pass, put a new guardrail, and fix up the road. It needs it. All right, let's stop a second and check it out. Okay, this is a little roadside stop on famous historic Route 66. If you've seen my older videos, I've been here before. If you haven't, welcome. This is uh, one of the best little sections of Route 66 that I've ever come across that where you can drive it. It goes, uh, there's like over 100 miles, clear up from Selegman all the way down to Needles. Roads for Adventures, and thank goodness they keep it up. They keep the theme of the old Route 66. Uh, I see a ton of young people always driving and taking their selfies and pictures, and it's really cool. Well, there's a little bit of color, but it's dry. Look how it, normally this time of year in April... It is super green here, and you just don't see it. You see a lot of the dryness. Then way up there, that's Cool Springs. That's that little tourist uh, uh, place. It's kind of cool. We'll drive past it when we leave. They got gift shops and all that. But normally you can see little orange patches of flowers on the backside of these hills here, and you just don't see it. There's a better look at Cool Springs. Now this valley here, that's Route 66. That's the route we're gonna take. It'll take us right up over the pass, Sitgreaves Pass. It's about an eight mile stretch, I think eight or nine miles. But normally you would see little color patches if anything was blooming. And it's usually orange looking. And I don't see it. But this is also the east side of the pass. West side, it really uh, blooms over there. So we'll go over there and check that out too. Right away we go. Still a pretty ride. We're gonna go through Oakman. Maybe we'll stop, check it out. 
take a little walk through there. I got plenty of time. There's not too many places around that'll do uh, oil change on my Mercedes van, so this uh, RV uh, dealer, car dealer over in Bullhead, they do it. They've been doing it for the last two years. And here's Cool Springs. This was in a movie, The Cars or something like that, Cars. Pretty famous, really. It's a cute little stop. You can always get a little bite to eat, pick up a hat, a lot of Route 66 stuff. Oh, look what I see. We got to stop. There's a burrow. Maybe be a few of them. Let's stop and say hi. <laughs> found something good to munch on. See, it's still green, but it does no bloom. Yeah, he don't even care. I'm here. Wonder if there's any others. Normally they go, there's two or three that'll go together. He just warned the other ones I'm here. I don't see him. Oh, well. Let's keep on trucking. They tell you no vehicles over 40 feet because there's some pretty sharp switchbacks, especially on the other side of the pass. But I've seen so many people pull RVs up through here. <laughs> they just do it anyway. Can you imagine back in the day, you had the top down, the radio blasting, traveling on Route 66. All the cliffs, the old mining, there's mine shafts everywhere up here. This place has been mined for over a hundred years. It's all kinds of minerals. You can just see how the route highway goes right up over. And that's original road since, what, 30s? When they started 66, somewhere around there. Just a pretty, pretty place. Plus, we're up in elevation a little bit. I think at the top, we're about over 3,000 feet. But I don't see any color, do you? We'll just keep right on trucking. Right up here, straight ahead, there's a little place that's got stairs. No one's behind me, I can slow down. It's called Schaefer's Fishbowl. Not filmed it, I've done a couple videos on it. Let me slow down here. See those stairs right there made out of stone? You climb up there and there's a little uh, natural spring that comes out of the rocks. Somebody made a little pond and they put goldfish in there. <laughs> Schaefer's Pond. Be sure to check out that video. Okay, here we are. This is Sick Grease Pass. Elevation. Almost 3,500 feet. Wow. All right, let's stop. Well, there it is. That's looking all the way out. See, way out where it's flat. That's the big valley of uh, Fort Mojave and Boyd City, Needles. You can just see forever up here. Isn't this pretty? I don't see one ounce of color, though. So, nope. No spring bloom this year. That's okay. We're right up at the top of the peak. Let's look back. Right up here is where we came up through. 
Look at the smoke. Woof. From all the fires. Arizona's on fire right now. We got quite a few fires going up around Flagstaff. There's a cool look how windy the road is. Because we're right at the top, right at the very peak of Sick Grease Pass. Almost straight down would be the top, right there. <laughs> cool. All right, keep on trucking. that's okay we're gonna go down let's uh, stop at Oatman on the way I got plenty of time my appointments not for another good two and a half hours But you can see here there's no guardrails. Part of that article I read, they're going to install guardrails along this section. And actually fix up the road. Low places are uh, washed out. Look at this, there's a little rock berm there. <laughs> Some of them drop-offs are pretty severe. Here's one of the big switchbacks. Swing around right here. There is all kinds of mining. There's a big commercial mine still operating. And they got shafts going back underneath these hills everywhere. I'm not sure if it's just gold. I'm, I'm not sure what they pull out of here. But it's quite a bit. You always see activity here. Looks like it's actually grown a little bit. The buildings. I don't know. Could be. There's our main office. Everything's fenced with barbed wire. Oatman, 2.2 miles. Okay. We're on our way. Made it. Not quite as smoky here, huh? This place is old, ancient, mining. Tourism is massive here. Always people driving through here to explore and the old Route 66. Because right off I 10, look, there's the big tour bus. They come up through here. Right off I-10, right when, as soon as you cross into Arizona from California, I think it's exit 1. <laughs> you pick up Route 66, come up through uh, Golden Shores, all the way up to here through Oatman, then you go up to Kingman, all the way up to Seligman. They got the old western theme. There's the Oatman Hotel, Haunted. We say normally I don't stop. Why don't we stop? Walk the streets. Used to be able to park right up here off to the left behind the buildings. A lot of people park in the streets, but it's too crowded. Gets too crowded. Looks like everything's just opening up. Perfect. Here we go. Let's go walk the streets of Oatman.
There's no gas stations, anything like that here. It's uh, they got their little hotel, restaurants, shops. The closest uh, bigger town to be like Fort Mojave, Bullhead City. Okay, what we got here? Rockhound Hill. <laughs> look at the cool pictures. Wow, look at the movies been shot here. Foxfire, Edge of Eternity, How the West Was Won. They used some of the old buildings for props, huh? I think there's a couple old uh, movie actors that got married here, spent their honeymoon here. Pretty cool. Here's a closer look. The whole cast of the movie, Gold City. Wagging up on the porch. How the West was won. 1962. 59, 55. Wow. Pretty cool. Right there is a the building. <laughs> Still here. 2022. Long time, huh? Cool. All right, well, let's walk the streets. All the burrows, they come here and hang out because people can feed them. A lot of these places sell uh, feed for them. So you can actually hand feed the burrows. Shops are getting open. Oh, look at this parade. They're painting yellow lines. Don't want to get that paint on your vehicle. I've I've had that. Man, that's tough to get off. Well, we got up here. Old jail cell. <laughs> Eighteen ninety seven Jail Punishment Cell. There you go. Pine Box. <laughs> oh, Mine Shaft. Ooh, got a plaque here. Wow, this is the old location of the old Arizona Hotel way back in the early nineteen hundreds. Kind of hard to read. Bullet holes in the metal. That must have been the old foundation for it. Saloon. Pretty cool. The old jail out back. Jailhouse. Wonder if they had air conditioners like that back in the 1800s. I don't think so. Closed. Oh well. But there's all kinds of businesses back behind here. I think they got a big bike rally coming up. What a road for motorcycles. Oh my goodness, all the curves, switchbacks. Okay. Head up towards the old hotel. All western theme. Just a cool stop. Shooting gallery. There you go. Take your best shot. There's a restaurant. Wagons on top of the porch, the old general store, burgers, hot dogs. But up here where the hotel is, this is where it's haunted. You can rent a room there. 
here. You got to buy some food, T-shirts. But here's the old open hotel. Thing is ancient. Welcome bikers. Yeah, they must be having something this weekend. Wild raw honey. I take it they're sitting out front and everything, right? There you go. You got popcorn. Look at all the dollar bills on the walls. Cool. There you go. The classy ass. <laughs> it's like a gift shop or art gallery. <laughs> and more old stuff. Rug store. Gunfights. Wells Fargo Bank. Well, we did it. Made it to the end. It's not very big. You can definitely spend a few hours here, spend a few dollars. They need it. They survived uh, all the pandemic. This place was closed down like everything else. It's good to see everything back going again. Here you go, get your kicks on Route 66. Uh, look at this sign, I didn't see it before. Husband's waiting room. <laughs> he wants to buy you something. There you go, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, we're Arizona Sidewinder Route 66 Survivors. 191 curves over eight miles. There was, that's a lot of switchbacks. If you get a chance, get up here. This place is open year round. time tree you don't see too many in the desert that big that thing's been watered okay to the van we go cool little stop wasn't too crowded I like that good old Oatman Arizona right here on the historic and I do mean historic route 66 I could drive this every day <laughs> I really could just a pretty ride even without the spring bloom this year oh well still April the flowers should still be here but they're not just too dry a lot of drought going on around here Arizona, all the southwestern states. Okay, what's the sign said? Bullhead City, 17 miles. Well, that's where we're heading next. Might even boondock there tonight. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>